Shalom, call Halal, Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. That were honest to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom, to the Akim and to the Akwaf, I'll be you brothers and sisters. I don't want Rata Zah, that is to say, Lord willing. Hopefully, by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. Okay? And this lesson today is going to be entitled To the Spirit and Power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. All roads lead to the Karagma. Okay? All roads lead to the Karagma. Okay? Alright? The MOTB, the hour of temptation. Alright? Okay? Now, the men of the Lord, beginning with our elders, okay, and apostles, okay, of Great Millstone, okay, and the men that they learn from. Okay, been telling you for years, decades now, okay, that this time was coming. They've been prophesying out on the highways and the byways and telling you to, to, to gird up your mind, okay, prepare yourself up against the time that's coming to seek the Lord for that hedge of protection, okay? If, it, if, it, if you have ears to hear and the Spirit be on you to do so, okay? Um, yeah, real quick. Let me, um, I just realized I didn't turn off this notification. Let me turn off this notification real quick. Um, bear with me here real quick. I, I just realized I didn't turn off this notification. Let me do that real quick. Uh, yeah, because um, it's being made manifest, man. Okay, the scriptures say, uh, <laughs> do it, Tari. You know, wait for it, for it surely will come and, and not tarry. Okay, for, for you know, roughly paraphrasing, man, it, 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 is, it is for the end times. You know, it's for the end times, man. It's, it's, it's definitely going to come. No doubt about it. It's definitely going to come. All right. So, uh, bear with me here. Okay. Okay, now let's let's get back to uh, where we were. Okay. Now I have this article here. Okay. Let me put up a quick disclaimer. Okay. Uh, my disclaimer would be the Fair Use Act. Okay, the Copyright Act of 1976 under Section 107. Okay, which uh, give away for fair use. Okay, which gives way for uh, criticism and commentary, things of that nature. Okay, as this lesson that I'm doing, okay, is not for monetary gain, but for educational purposes. Okay, so my disclaimer is going to be the Fair Use Act, the Copyright Act of 1976 under Section 107. Okay, so this article is on blacklisted news. Okay, and um, this article is... Uh, was published on July 9th, 2023, and it reads, CBDCs are a solution for a problem we don't have, and they want to implant it under our skin. Okay, that's what it reads. Okay, so all roads leads to the Karagma. Okay, the hour of temptation, man, the mark, all right, the, uh, the, 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 the MOTB. Okay, the mark of the beast, man. I spoken of it in the scripture, uh, 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 Revelation, the 13th chapter. Okay, so let's read a little bit of the article. Okay, and uh, Lord willing, we bring out the the, the, the the featured scripture. Okay, and um, we get some um, some uh, edification. Okay, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna start with one scripture. You know, just to um, to uh, keep it. Uh, Biblical, scriptural, okay, 
how Revelation chapter 13 lined up with to the spread and probably how about I'm gonna start here. Revelation chapter 3, verse 10. It says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, this is speaking of the elect, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world. This is what's coming. The hour of temptation. You're going to be tempted. You're going to be tried, man. To try them that dwell upon the earth. And when, you go, when it says, come, which shall come upon all the world, that means in the, the oikomeni sense, meaning the whole entire, the whole inhabited earth. You see? So this is going to come on the whole entire earth, man. It's not, not just one specific area. The whole inhabited earth, man. You see? So, yeah. The hour of temptation, man. That's what it's speaking of. It's speaking of what's being uh, what's being uh, put together right now to come in the future, man. All right? It's going to come to pass. This has been spoken of over 2,000 years ago by uh, our forefather, John the Revelator, on the island of Patmos. On the Isle of Patmos, man, he was given those revelations. Okay, he spoke of it. Okay, but let's go to the article. Let's read some of the article. Okay, and then we're going to get Revelation, the 13th chapter. But let's get into the article. Okay, once again, fair use. Okay, Copyright Act of 1976 under Section 107. All right, will be the disclaimer. All right, just reading this article. It says CBDCs are a solution for a problem we don't have. Right. And they want to implant it under our skin. Right. So reading on, it says, it says, speaking about universal basic income, Professor Richard Re uh, Werner said, you will get 2,000 euros into your account every month. But of course, to run this efficiently, they'll say we need to use the latest technology, so you need the CBDC chip implant. See? Now, you cannot say you haven't heard the apostles speaking of, of this for, for, for decades now. Okay? The apostles have been speaking of, speaking of this for, 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 for decades now, man. All right? Let me see if I can read a little bit of the article. It says... Professor Richard A. Werner is an economist and professor of banking and finance. He is known as the proponent of new post-crisis monetary policy. He called quantitative easing, or QE, when he proposed it in Japan in 1995 as chief economist of British Investment Bank of a British investment bank. Besides experience as senior managing director and senior portfolio manager at Bear Stearns Asset Management, he was he has worked as a uh, researcher on or consultant at the University of Oxford, the Bank of Japan, the Development Bank of Japan, and the Asian Development Bank, among others. He's he is involved in supporting the establishment of non profit community banks through an initiative called Local First CIC, or SIC. At the Amsterdam Science Summit 2022, Professor Werner gave a lecture on central bank digital currencies, CBDCs, and the 2030 agenda. At the sidelines of this year's Amsterdam Science Summit, he spoke to Ivor Cummins about CBDCs and how high inflation has been orchestrated by central banks to further their agenda. There you go, man. You see? You see? High inflation, man. That's why everything's so high. Groceries are high. Uh, your, 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 your economy, uh, you know, what you call it there? Uh, the housing market is through the ceiling, man. So he said, this is orchestrated. Okay? There are two aspects to... Uh, Quantitative easing, QE, monitoring policies that Professor Werner proposed, QE1 and QE2. QE1 is for the central bank to step in and purchase the non-performing assets in the banking system. Okay, the non-performing assets in the banking system, that's, that's like one big bank swallow up the small banks, right? The central bank buys up non-performing assets at face value and the, and the problem is solved. Banks have a strong balance sheet, but, the, but that won't 
be enough to get banks to increase credit. So, Professor, we're in a proposed QE2, quantitative easing 2, which allows the central bank to force the banks to create more money and push it into the economy. This would be accomplished with central banks buying assets, okay, etc. Property from the non bank sectors, the money. The money the non-bank sectors receive from the sale of the property would then be de deposited into the seller's bank account when an economy is experiencing deflation. That's how central banks can push money into economy directly, uh, Professor Warner explained. Quantitative easing was followed by Japan in the 1980s, but the U.S. but the U.S. disallowed Japan subsequently using QE2, and then out of the blue and the raw. At the wrong time, quantitative easing too was adopted by the U.S. Federal Reserve and other central banks in March 2022. The intention of adopting Q QE2 at the time was to cause high inflation. Was to cause high inflation. Wow. It says, why? To move economies onto a CBD system, right? You see that? They want you, they want to get rid of these, 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 these uh, fiat uh, uh, paper money, man. They want everything to go digital. You have to think of CBDCs as a control system, right? Or a permit system, not a currency. Proof. Professor Warner explained, right? That's what it is. It's a system, man, because everything going to be placed on, on, on one central, uh, one. everything that's going to be on one grid, man. So they'll be able to see everything you do, everything you buy, and, and it's going to be programmable, man. So if they don't want you to get something, they can just turn you off, man. All right? For an example, if you're doing something that they don't approve of, they could just turn you off. You wouldn't be able to participate. Okay? It says, it's a conditional currency based on you actually getting that permit. Now, if you if you happen to be some kind of critic of government policy, there you go, or a critic of central banks, this could be difficult. Or if you dare to step out of the, the 15-minute city zone, see? And they've been talking about the 15-minute city, right? You know, maybe you'll find that, oh, my CBDC is not working, right? Because you ordered the 15-minute zone. You see, you see where this is. You can clearly see where this is going, man. So all you, all you, you, you other camps that's been playing around, okay, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to come to the realization that the men of Great Millstone was on point, was right all along, man. Uh, 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 speaking of this man uh, uh, Revelation the 13th chapter man Going into the, 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 the MOTB man Because guess what now it's manifesting Okay now it's manifesting man Okay so you ain't gonna be able to keep up Your charade man Okay it says of course Of course these are Things we, we've seen Already in China There's plenty of videos where somebody Tries to use it to buy a ticket and it doesn't work because his his social credit scores are low. So see, clearly they're gonna be able to they're gonna be able to uh, 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 to to control you, man. If you ain't in line with what with what their agenda is, okay. See, you gotta you gotta you gotta be able to um, have that spirit, man, of the Alba Shimi Shai. Keep the faith. Um, what's that? Um, Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 20. Okay. We shall no more stay upon him that smart us, but we shall stay upon the Holy One of Israel. Okay. That's 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 that scripture, man. You have to continue to walk <clears throat> in the spirit, man. Alright? This this article, I'm not gonna get to finish this article. I'm a law willing. I, I post it. It's, 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 it looks like it's much it's much more uh bit to it. But I think the point was made. I'm gonna read Revelation. Uh, the 13th chapter I'm going to get ready to close up I'm on my lunch break I only have a few more minutes So we, we clearly see where this is going man Okay so you ain't going to be able to talk your way out of this one Because it's, the scriptures prophesied this over 2,000 years ago man And now we see it coming to pass Okay this is the book of Revelation Revelation chapter 12 I started uh, I started verse 15 it says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So it's gonna it's gonna get to the point, okay, where 
this 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 thing is going to become mandatory. See, now they're telling you that they telling you what you what they're doing right in, right right in, in your face. They're telling you now, man. All right, they're telling you now. But guess what? It's going to be the it's going to come to that point where it's going to become mandatory to the point of death. The scriptures tell you that. Also, Revel, uh, Revelation the twelfth chapter and the fourth verse, right? It goes into that. John John saw the men the men that were beheaded because because they are. Uh, because they stood their ground, okay? They didn't worship the image of the beast, all right? And it says, but but this go around, we get the victory. That's 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 not going to be every brother, okay? The Lord is going to lift up a standard, man, for his elect, because he have care for his elect. This is Revelation chapter 11, it's like Revelation chapter 13, beginning, uh, starting again at verse 16. It says, and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in the right hand or in their foreheads. Okay? You see, don't they have the neural link right now? Okay? It says and that no man might buy or sell. So clearly if you can't see where it's going, you don't you don't got spiritual eyes to see, man. The Lord ain't working with you. Okay? Because you can clearly see where this is going. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. You see, you're not going to be able to operate. You're not going to be able to participate, all right, on their on their grid, if you're not, okay, if you ain't uh, 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 bend or bow to their will. But the scriptures tell you how the Lord have uh, have reserved unto Himself seven thousand men that shall not bow, okay, to the image uh, 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 of Baal, man, okay. You see, the scriptures tell you how the just shall live by faith, all right. Okay, it says, verse 18, it says, Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred, three score and six. Okay, now I, I had quoted a scripture, and through the Spirit of Bob, Bob, Yahweh, you know, Shai, the Spirit is telling me to get that scripture and read it, bring it out. Okay, Revelation, um, because this is the time we, we're in, man. The scripture said to even be as pilgrims. We're going to have to do what we have to do to survive until the day of the Lord returns, man. So, we, because we're waiting on the Lord, we need to be delivered, man, from all this evil on the earth. Okay, this is our Isaiah chapter ten. I'm gonna bring this out. I quoted it, but I'm gonna read it. Isaiah chapter ten and verse uh, twenty, and it reads: It says, "And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob, okay, shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon the Lord, okay, the Holy One of Israel in truth." And the remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty power. Okay, and that's that's what's coming, man. That's what's going on right now. The just shall live by faith. Okay, we we lay through the spirit of power. Yah Bashim and I pray that the Lord keep the spirit up upon me. Okay, and light minded brothers. Okay, to endure until the end, man. Because we need to be delivered, man. But that's it, man. Clearly, you can see where it's going. All you. Out there from these other camps that's chucking and jiving you in the plantation Christian church that called them these things out. You're gonna you're gonna realize that it is a consequence for not doing so, man. Alright, so I'm gonna end it there, Lord willing, you will edify it on to the next one.